Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Trinity Cultural Academy. In this video, we are going to learn about Chapter 2 of Unit 3, Establishment of Nursery in that site selection and tools and implements used in nursery. First, we will see what is nursery. It is an area or place where seedlings, saplings or other planting materials are grown and maintained until they are transplanted in a main field or permanent place. Or in other words, a place where True to type plants are produced by gaining technical skill or maintaining properly and by careful planning. The things that are required as a prior condition for establishing nursery are it should be located in areas where demand of quality material is existing. The ideal soils like deep, fertile, well drained loamy soil which is free from pests and diseases are selected. Located in area where adequate water facilities, optimum topography and climate are available. It should be well connected with the transport facilities. It should be located to the area near to the areas where we get all time supply of fertilizers, pesticides, growth regulators and other necessary inputs. Most importantly, year round availability of labors and other experts in propagation techniques like butter and grafter. Let us see the advantages of nursery. It provides favorable growth condition for germination and growth. It provides better care for younger plants. It is easy to look after nursery in a small area against pathogenic infection, pests and diseases and weeds. Helps in making you efficient use of land and it improves crop uniformity in field. Helps to reduce field management cost. The major disadvantages of nursery are it increases the cost of production and it needs extra labor in establishing nursery before transplanting. Next one is different classifications of nursery. Based on size, it is classified into home and commercial nursery. Home nursery is a small area in garden in which plants are grown to meet the demands of growers own garden. Its main objective is to provide quality and true to type material for own garden. Commercial nurseries are larger in size, mostly established to earn money and it requires larger area as well as larger investment. Based on type of sale, nurseries are classified into four types. The first one is retail nursery in which plants are raised for sale to the general public and are small and located in towns. Whereas wholesale nurseries are those produced in larger number for sale to the retail outlets in bulk quantities. Third one is mail order nursery. It is a specialized wholesale nursery where customers order through the catalog and receive plants through mail or parcel service. Private nurseries are where the plants are grown exclusively for a single client. It may be owned by a client or under contract for use by the client. Based on time duration, it is classified into two types as temporary and permanent nursery. Temporary nurseries are developed only to fulfill the requirements of season or temporary projects, mostly production of seedlings of vegetables and flower crops which are occurs of temporary in nature. In permanent nurseries, production of plants occur continuously and have all permanent features like mother stock block and work goes continuously all the year round. Based on type of plants produced, it is classified as fruit type nursery, vegetable nursery, flower plant nursery, forest nursery and medicinal and aromatic nursery. In the above all types, from the name it indicates that what type of plants are produced. The last one is high tech nursery which deals with the tissue culture plants or plants growing in modern greenhouses. Next chapter is tools and implements used in nursery area. It is to carry out the day to day cultural operations in nursery. The difference between these two are tools are used for simple and common things. Example here is spade whereas implements are used rarely and are larger in size comparatively. We will see one by one in detail with their uses. The first one is garden fork. It is used for breaking the soil clouds during nursery bed preparation. The second one is weeding fork. 
it loosens the soil and helps in weeding process it is more or less similar to the garden fork but is smaller in size it is drawn manually with the help of handle to collect weeds the third one is kudali which is simple and important tool used for digging of soil pits which has a metal iron blade attached to the wooden handle operated manually next one is crowbar it is used for digging out large boulders from the soil and digging pits also it is used for breaking hot pan of soil it is very important point it has iron rod with one pointed end and other has wedge shaped next one is shovel it is used for transport of soil within the field during leveling of nursery beds it has iron blade of spoon shape and wooden handle next one is pickaxe it is used for digging hard compact and stony soil made of carbon with pointed one end and broad and other end with the provision of handle next one is the commonly used tool that is spade it is used for lifting turning the soil digging pits and also used for preparing channels for irrigation and drainage lines next one is hokam rake it is used for digging hoeing earthing leveling and collecting weeds it is of rectangular shape metal blade with fork like forage the next one is furrow opener it is used for opening narrow and shallow furrow after sowing seeds in nurseries next one is kurfi it is like a shovel but smaller in size with iron blade and wooden handle used for hoeing weeding and also used for transplanting seedlings in some cases the next one is axe in tamil kodali it is used for felling trees and cutting branches the final one is bill hook it is used for cutting hard branches of plant and other woody shrubs it is made of iron curved at far end sickle which is frequently used one for cutting grasses and leafy vegetables the next one is wheel barrow manually operated small trolley used for carrying nursery plants compost fertilizers leaf litter and horticulture produces and stones from one place to another the final one is cultivator which is tractor drawn implement used for tilling the soil efficiently it has tines of quality carbon and a plow up to 0.5 to 1/5 depth next one is disc harrow it is used for pulverizing the soil also used for turning crop residues weeds and other debris in the soil let us see the important crafting and budding tools in nursery the first one is knife which has combined blade for crafting and budding purpose it has a long blade and strong handle having either folding or fixed type it is used for lifting the bark during budding operations the next one is sicature important tool for a propagator or nursery man for removing scions looping off removal of undesirable shoots training and pruning operations it is made up of carbon blade giving smooth cut to the scions and stalks nowadays in many developed countries grafting machines are developed and commercially used for scion preparation and budding for budding and grafting operations however not very common in india pruning saw it is made up of long and widely set tooth to facilitate pruning and cutting of green woods the next one is tying and wrapping materials which is to hold the scion and stalk firmly together for successful graft or bud union in general polyethylene tapes strips waxed strings cloth rubber strips are used grafting wax it is to seal the graft union for preventing moisture loss or desiccation of cells and prevent decay of woods labels labeling is required for before sale it may be made up of paper cardboard wooden celluloid aluminum or plastic etc the next one is part it may be made of clay metal or plastic mostly used for potting ornamental plants fruit plants in some cases plastic and metal pots are used for irrigation purpose also others are spray pump rose can for watering iron pan pruning shear for pruning of unwanted branches trimming of edges and hedges and topping topiary work 
and finally sayat it is used for slashing the weeds let us see the possible expected question and answers the first one the tying materials during graft or bud union is to the correct answer is option b prevent moisture loss the second question sayat is used for dash the correct answer is option d slashing of weeds the third question main function of cultivator is the correct answer is option b to pulverize the soil the final question which of the following is not a grafting tool the correct answer is option d garden fork the important points in this chapter are the nursery is a place where seedlings saplings or any other planting materials are grown and maintained temporary nurseries are to fulfill the requirement of season or temporary projects axe is used for felling trees and cutting branches the important point is siccature is used for draining and pruning operations tying and wrapping materials to hold cyan and stock firmly together and, and to prevent uh, moisture loss the final one is sayat is used for slashing of weeds friends thank you for watching for pdf and online test text me to this whatsapp number 9894904745 or mail to this mail id onangamudi.tnau@gmail.com kindly subscribe our youtube channel to get the upcoming videos thank you we'll see in next video